Hi guys, welcome to fourth grade, chapter one, lesson five. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I do want to show you guys a little trick that will help you with this a little bit. Um, so you'll see that this is 760 hundreds, which means that the last number in 760 should be in the hundreds place, okay? So you'll see the seven, seven, six, zero, 760 and the last one is in the hundreds place so you just fill in the last two with zeros okay let's go ahead and do this one so we have 805 tens which means my five should be in the tens place because it's 805 tens okay so you see my 805 tens I'm gonna put a zero on the end I'm gonna fill in the blank Okay, all right, so let me show you this guy. So 24 ten thousands, so we're in the thousands, ten thousands. So your four is gonna go here and your two is going to go there. It says 24 ten thousands. So I'm in the thousands, I'm in the tens, I put my four there. Everything afterwards, becomes a zero okay so now we're gonna go the opposite way okay so 720 how many tens is that well 10 has one zero so if I have a 10 I have one zero on it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna take that one zero off and I am left with 72 okay let's try that one more time Okay, four thousands, seven hundreds. Okay, so that would be four thousand, seven hundred. Okay, so is forty seven and then two zeros. Two zeros is a hundred, right? So hundreds. Okay, let me do one more. Okay. All right, how many hundreds is this? Well, how many zeros are in a hundred? Two zeros. I'm gonna take off those two zeros. 256. Okay, I want you guys to try to do number seven on your own. You totally can, I believe in you. We're gonna go down and do number eight. It says, for the fair, the organizers ordered 32 rolls of tickets. Each roll of tickets had 100 tickets in it how many tickets were ordered in all. So we have our 32. Each one has 100. How many zeros in 100? Two zeros. I'm gonna put two more zeros. 3,200 and tickets. Word problem, word answer. Okay, all right. Number nine, an apple orchard sells apples in bags of 10. The orchard sold a total of 2,430 2, apples in one day. How many bags of apples is this? Well, in 10, there's one zero. I'm gonna take off that zero from the end. 243 apples. Oh, sorry, bags, I'm sorry. Okay. All right, we're gonna go over onto the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always. We're gonna go down and do the spiral review. There were 2,605 people at the basketball game. A reporter rounded this number to the nearest 100 for the newspaper. So, 2,605, and we want it rounded to the nearest 100, okay? So remember, if this number is a zero, one, two, three, or four, it's gonna stay the same at, at six. If it is a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, that six is gonna go up to a seven. The number is a zero, so it's going to stay the same. And we're going to write people, because word problem, word answer. Okay. To get to level three in a game, a player must score 14,175 points. Anne scores 14,205 points. Ben scores 14,089 points. And Chuck scores 10,463 points. Which score is greater than the level three score? 
So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to write these numbers down. First, I'm going to write down the number that you have to get to. Then I'm going to write down the other numbers. Okay, now we can see right away that the first number is the same in all of them. Okay, the second number, well, this one is a zero. That's definitely not going to be enough. Okay, so I need to know the number that is bigger than a one here. And one of them is a zero, the fours are the same. One of them is a zero, the other one's a two. Well, the two is the one that is bigger. So that is going to be Anne. Okay, make sure you're showing your work, guys. Okay, number five says Henry counted 350 lockers in his school. Haley counted 403 lockers in her school. How does the three and 350 compare to the three and 403? Okay, well, let's write those down. So 350 and 403. So we wanna know about the threes, okay? So the three in this place is two places bigger than the plan in this place, right? So three is very different from 300. How many times different? A hundred times different. So three times 100 equals 300. So 100 is going to be your answer, okay? Number six, there are four muffins on each plate. There are zero plates of lemon muffins. How many lemon muffins are there? You guys don't need me for this. Four times zero is zero. Anything times zero is zero. Okay, all right guys, great job. Thanks for hanging out for 1.5. Come on back for 1.6. See you soon.